Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we're coming to you from the Oklahoma City Zoo. The zoo is in the heart of Oklahoma City's Adventure District. And the folks here work year round to bring in new exhibits and attractions. Today we'll focus on the photo art exhibit at the Zooseum and show you Sanctuary Asia, the zoo's newest animal expansion. But first a trip to another Oklahoma attraction, this one full of sacred stories and the history of one Native American tribe. Photojournalist Casey Kennedy takes us to the Cherokee Heritage Center in Tahlequah. More Cherokees died on the Trail of Tears than were killed in the World Trade Centers in 9-11. So, you know, we've got to put that in the context of what's happened in history. Other groups that come through are just absolutely devastated. It's like, how could my government do that to anybody? And so that's a part of the Trail of Tears experience. We have the Diligua Village, which is an exact replica post mold in each house to a Cherokee village in 1710. We had people last year from 75 foreign countries come and go through this. First thing, we're gonna come through the houses, show them the houses we lived in, okay, we got all these off of archeological digs and manuscripts and old documents. Then we'll show them a little bit of pottery, make, uh, the stickball game that we played back then to settle disputes. You can come here and actually experience what it's like to live in a Cherokee village because you'll stay overnight in the village and we have people there who do storytelling, we have the songs, the dances, we have the traditional foods and you'll learn how to make things during that time frame. So to actually experience it and come and live it and that is unique. It's not available for most other people. I'm from the southeast, I'm from the eastern band so it's kind of like a cultural exchange for me to learn uh, how the Cherokees live here after their arrival. I love being able to tell our visitors about our culture back in the southeast and our arrival here also. A lot of people do not know about our culture um, and they're really surprised when they come through and take a tour and find out we didn't live in teepees. <laughs> These people came here in the dead of winter to the woods and within one generation, we had cities and towns laid out, we had railroads, we had a university. You know, how to, what, what's the resilience of a culture, of a people, to go experience that and come together and establish another government completely with everything in a whole new territory in one generation. Because in those cold winter months, that winter council house has to be big enough to host everybody inside this village. We've been around for thousands and thousands of years and we want to keep our culture alive through language and these arts that we're uh, showing everyone and our techniques and the way of life. We provide as many educational opportunities as possible to learn Cherokee things. We have the 1850s eight to 1890 Adams Corner, a village of, uh, during the, of the Cherokees at that point in time. So we have a general store, a church, you know, so people can see we have weaving looms and all of that to show what our material culture and how it changed. We're the designated end of the Trail of Tears and there's an exhibit here that people can go through that gives them the history of not only the Cherokee removals but all of the five civilized tribes. We're working now with the National Park Service and the U.S. Forestry Service to redo and bring the technology up to date on what we're going to have in the exhibit for the Trail of Tears to, to tell that story to the world. It's incredible what's there. People go in there and come out crying. It's uh, often difficult for me to go through there because of the emotional reaction of people that have never been there through it. Our message is to Cherokee people, come and talk to us, tell us this is your place, tell us what you want it to be. And that's, that's where we're headed with it. The Cherokee Heritage Center is open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 5. You'll find them six miles south of Tahlequah, just east of Highway 62 on Keeler Road. Check their website for the latest on exhibits and admission prices.
This time of year really is perfect for a stroll through the zoo. It is, and it's also a great time to plan a fall getaway, and we've got a great idea for you. Come along with me now to Hugo Lake State Park. Like so many of the state parks in Oklahoma, Hugo Lake State Park is a local gem. It's here where you can find tranquility. Just about everybody that's, that's come here has enjoyed the peace and quiet. Uh, they think that the, uh, the cabins are quite nice uh, and just, they're just, they enjoy their stay here. As you look around, it's almost as if this is a sanctuary for outdoor beauty, a place to get away from it all and just be lazy, much like these leaves on the picnic bench. Just taking it easy. It really is peaceful when you come here, uh, quiet time, uh, just to get away from the city and relax. There's something about having respect for the environment and just the peace and quiet of being out with the trees and the leaves, the sun and fresh air. But Hugo Lake State Park does offer a variety of accommodations. We offer uh, uh, 16 of the two bedrooms, fully furnished cabins. Uh, then we have 10 of the primitive cabins uh, that are just one bedroom. Uh, seven of them have bathrooms on the inside and ten of them, or three of them do not. There's also something a little extra. The community building is a four bedroom, uh, three baths upstairs, uh, meeting room downstairs, uh, full, fully functional kitchen and living area. And, uh, We've rented a lot for weddings, uh, also for uh, family reunions, and uh, uh, various events that happens during the, during the, uh, the year. The park offers a smorgasbord of outdoor recreational opportunities, including hiking, nature study, and backpacking. And you can fish the lake for bass, catfish, and crappie. And don't forget about the very nice marina. The marina is, it has 56 slips. Uh, fully functional uh, marina store that offers snacks, uh, beverages, uh, full service gasoline, and uh, we're, we're real proud of our, our marina. Park manager Ron Reese is also proud of the park in general. He's been here since 1997. I have, it's just, it's one of my favorite places to be. Uh, I take very good ownership in being part of it and I am so proud to, to be here and be part of it. You can plan your fall getaway on the Tourism Department's website, TravelOK.com. While you're there, request a copy of the Oklahoma Outdoor Guide. We'll send a copy right to your front door, free of charge. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. Jalapeno gold flies off the shelf. It's basically the super sweet jalapeno peppers. We are headed inside this tiny turquoise shop to see what else they're selling really proud to um, be a Tulsan. I'm really proud to be an Oklahoman. And so um, I love the fact that I'm able to make things um, that people want to wear and that supports our state and our state pride. And we're headed to Tulsa for a taste of Oki pride. We'll check it out when Discover Oklahoma continues. The Oklahoma Department of Agritourism salutes Rockin' R Farm in Tahlequah. Don't miss their petting zoo and pumpkin patch. Set a course for excitement with your free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide. It's your all-in-one handbook for outdoor inspiration. Cabins, campsites, comfy lodges, breathtaking adventures, and so much more. Order yours at TravelOK.com. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from the Oklahoma City Zoo, where we're taking a look at the Photo Arc exhibit. These photos have inspired people all over the world to take an interest in animal conservation. And as we head into cooler fall weather, well, many Oklahomans are inspired to spend more time in the kitchen. And if that sounds like you, we've got the perfect place for you to visit. Let's head to Stillwater and visit Knobloch & Company. On Campus Corner in Stillwater, you'll find a tiny turquoise building full of lovely items to make your kitchen and your gatherings special. Knobloch & Company is an itty bitty kitchen shop. We wanted a place that people could come in if they were tailgating or if they had company coming, that they could come in and grab that perfect item and take it to either give as a gift or serve on their table. 
Knobloch and Company really is itty bitty at just over 600 square feet, but there's no shortage of great items. We um, had the idea to provide gourmet foods and um, bakeware, vintage items, handmade goods, gifts. Jalapeno Gold flies off the shelf. It's basically the super sweet jalapeno peppers you can pour it over a block of cream cheese and serve it up with Fritos. Um, we cannot keep our Jalapeno Gold. Other best-selling items, peach salsa. Everybody loves our peach salsa. We have custom labeled canned food goods uh, from okra, salsas, jellies, jams, and all of those goodies. You'll find a huge assortment of dressings and pickles as well. You can also pick up a baking mix and a new baking pan to cook it in. So for our bakeware, we try to bring in different pans, um, bunt pans, cake pans, um, flat pans, sheet pans that you can use for all different reasons. It just depends on the season for sometimes we carry more than others. So we have lots of baking mixes. Um, we actually have a line of baking mixes that are ours that we private label. Um, it's sconces, cookies, um, cakes, brownie bars, lemon bars. Um, we even carry seasonal items, pumpkin and cobbler through the fall. And then in the um, Christmas season, we carry lots of cranberry breads. Um, we love baking mixes. If you're in need of a last minute gift, you can find it at Knobloch too. We have cookbooks, we have candles, we have um, body lotions, hand washes, we have soaps, um, most of all that are handmade. We love it whenever we get to wrap up something special for you to gift to somebody that's special to you. Plan your trip to Knobloch & Company, the itty bitty kitchen shop full of great items with a great atmosphere. When you come to Knobloch & Company, you're gonna find things that you will not find anywhere else. Knobloch & Company is open 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. They close at 5 on Saturdays and open 1 to 5 on Sunday. You can also shop online at their website, knoblockco.com. And while cooking up a storm in the kitchen makes for a fun afternoon, sometimes you just want to leave it to the experts. That's true, and if that is the case, may we suggest a trip to Ada. It's there you can sample or even take home some really, really tasty treats at a place called Amber's Sweet Shop. It's safe to say the majority of us have a sweet tooth, but I will tell you all your teeth will be overtaken with sweetness walking into Amber's Sweet Shop in Ada. Baking can be considered an art and a science. For the owner, Amber, she's completely self-taught. I didn't actually take a professional class until I was open almost two years, and that was a beginner's cookie class and I took that with um, my sister and my daughter to kind of give them some instruction to give them um, some direction on how to do cookies. Amber's sister Jamie is now in charge of all the cupcakes. I let her create and design. I've given her all the you know, free range of however she wants to do those. And for Jamie and how she creates designs is pretty much just all visual. It's just kind of cool to see um, different designs online and being able to imitate them or, you know, people bring in different color schemes and you're able to match them. And it's just enjoy, you know, it's enjoyable and it's just, it's just fun just to have free range to create whatever you want and just enjoy it. Jamie says if someone has a special request, they can take care of that. Customers seem to make consistent comments about all their products. They're just kind of really surprised about the size. They're, the ones that we carry in the case are the jumbo size cupcakes, so they're not your standard small. My favorite one to make is probably the mermaids, just because they're so colorful and the kids are always so happy when they see them. There is more to Amber's sweet shop than, well, sweets. They are essentially a full restaurant now. You know, we serve the scones, breakfast burritos, uh, we do serve lunch items, soups, sandwiches, uh, we have salads, um, we do all kinds of items. There's, and just because it's a bakery, don't, we don't just do sweet items. Um, we do cakes, fruit bowls, I mean, there's a whole line of items. For breakfast, you'll find different varieties of quiche, but Amber also says they are always adding to the menu. We change our menu quite often for the uh, seasons as well. We update soups, um, you know, for the seasons. We um, add more salads during the summertime. We add more soups during the wintertime. Add more sandwiches during summertime and quiche. It's diverse. It's diverse. You can get whatever you need here, whatever you want for a 
you know, a private function or if you just want to eat lunch or grab something to take to the house. Lunch is, is a ham and cheese croissant. Uh, on the dessert side, everything. Uh, but the cheese, cheesecake and the cookies and, and the pies are good. Baking cakes, cookies, creating cupcakes and pastries, well, there's love in the sweetest of details, but it's also sweet to see satisfied customers. I really like just uh, seeing people that are just genuinely happy when they try something and they just, they're happy, they, you know, taste something that's so good. You'll find Amber's at 205 West Main Street in Ada. They're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. They close at 3 on Saturdays and are closed on Sundays. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. We do game day, so for OU, OSU, TU. Game day gear that's made right here in Oklahoma. People uh, do drive from different parts of the state to come and eat a steak here because they are hand cut and high quality. And dinner worth the drive. It's all ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. This portion of Discover Oklahoma is brought to you by the Fort Gibson Barbecue and Bluegrass Festival. Visit them October 21st and 22nd. Create your ultimate Oklahoma bucket list with this year's free Oklahoma travel guide. Discover captivating culture, heart-pounding adventure, ultimate relaxation. This bucket list can't be missed. Order yours free today at TravelOK.com. Welcome back to the Oklahoma City Zoo, where they're proud of their newest animal expansion, Sanctuary Asia. This 6.6-acre area is home to animals from Asia. We're talking elephants, rhinos, Komodo dragons, red pandas, and so much more. A great time of year to spend the afternoon at the zoo. True, but it's also prime time to take in some Oklahoma football. you got the Sooners and the Cowboys. And if you're going to the game, you're going to need to look the part. Julie Chen takes us to Livy Lou's in Tulsa to help us out. Livy Lou is a game day fashion game changer. It's a great way to wear game day fashion, but still look really, really cute. We do game day. So for OU, OSU, TU, even Arkansas items are here. Um, and then Oklahoma Pride items. So we have everything from coffee mugs to um, t-shirt, obviously. Tiffany Riley started the business out of her garage nearly 15 years ago. She's been wholesaling for a long time, but recently opened this retail store in Tulsa's Pearl District. We try to make women's bodies that, um, that we would want to wear, um, like fun and different items that are more stylish um, and that we could see a college girl wearing um, and then also somebody my age wearing on game day. From tees to tanks to sweatshirts and more, at Livy Lou you can suit up and show your Oklahoma pride or school spirit. The store also carries shirts from around the region. Well, I love all of the, the game day stuff because we're, my family is such a sports family, so I feel like I have one of everything so that no matter where we go, whatever game we go to, we can support the team. I got a ruffle sleeved um, black shirt that says Oklahoma State of Mind, so it's going to be perfect for game day, but also really cute just to wear around anytime. Not everything here is for the gals. There's plenty of guy stuff and children's clothes too. We love having like matching items for, for your kids. We have stuff for um, Tulsa, Oklahoma Pride, um, OU, OSU, TU. Um, you can find that all for all ages. So all the way from onesies up through size 12 and 14 for kids. I love all the stuff at Livy Lou. Um, the quality is amazing, but it's also super soft. Livy Lou's unique, original designs are hand drawn by the store's graphic artist. And if you don't find exactly what you're looking for, the store takes custom orders too. We work with a lot of the high schools in town. Um, we do for sports teams, um, we do for companies. So um, we love to do all kinds of different uh, custom artwork. T-shirts are of course the top seller here, but something else really popular are these locally made candles. They're exclusive to this store and they celebrate famous Tulsa things like the Zingo, Turkey Mountain, the Golden Driller, even a scent with the old lady on Brady. And if you're wondering, she smells great. You'll also find hats and home goods like tea towels and mugs. It's a nice selection of, you know, sports Tulsa memorabilia. You can come here and find things for yourself, things for your kids, things for your husband, things for your friends, things for your home, and it's all with such state pride. Livy Lou, where love for your state, your team, and your style are a winning combination. I'm a huge fan of our, of our city and our state, 
and really proud to um, be a Tulsan and really proud to be an Oklahoman. And so um, I love the fact that I'm able to make things um, that people want to wear and that supports our state and our state pride. In Tulsa, I'm Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma. Livy Lou's is at 1316 East 6th Street in Tulsa. They're open 1030 to 530 Tuesday through Friday, closing at 3 on Saturdays and closed Sunday and Monday. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. Salmon, we have a great, awesome uh, pan seared salmon that we serve. But it's not all health food at this Route 66 diner. We'll take you to Lucille's when Discover Oklahoma continues. This portion of Discover Oklahoma is brought to you by the inaugural Oklahoma Book Festival. Take part on October the 20th in the Oklahoma City Boathouse District. Want to discover even more about the show? Go online and watch Discover Oklahoma anywhere, anytime. Catch up on missed episodes, track down interesting locations, and submit your own story ideas. Start exploring today at discoveroklahomatv.com. We've had so much fun here today at the Oklahoma City Zoo. We have indeed. They're working with the sea lions behind us right now. In fact, I think they're getting a snack, mm -hmm. which reminds me, we need to figure out where we're going to go eat after <laughs> we finish the show. And along with that, you need to come along with me now to Lucille's Roadhouse in Weatherford. The original location for Lucille's Roadhouse was in Hydro. It's now in the National Registry of Historic Places. Built in 1927, this gas station became a part of Route 66 history. That history continues now in Weatherford, all because Rick Koch bought the station from Lucille herself in 2006. So we picked the name Lucille's Roadhouse Restaurant and we tried to take some of the lessons in hospitality we'd learned from the way she treated people and the way she treated people on Route 66 and came up with the restaurant idea. And part was to have a diner, like a 50s, 60s diner, and the other part was to have a steakhouse and how to do that under one roof. Today the customers love the fact this is two restaurants in one. One of the things I like about it is it's, it's, it's two restaurants in one. It has a 50s diner on one side so you, you can have that kind of atmosphere, then a steakhouse on the other side so you, you get that kind of atmosphere if you want. Lucille Hammond's memory is kept alive today by how the current Lucille's location treats customers. The first way, of course, is by serving up mighty tasty meals, starting with breakfast. The most popular item they have is the Mother Roadhouse breakfast, which is all you can eat, but secondly... The most popular thing, uh, thanks to the owner, we have Spam. That's one of his favorite meats, so we brought Spam in, we have Spam and eggs. And we can do anything, whether it be Spam and eggs, a Spam burrito, which is the Spam inside of a breakfast burrito. And then, of course, for lunch, we've translated that into a, a classic Spam sandwich. For those wanting an adult beverage, you'll find 18 beers on tap, most of which are made in Oklahoma beers. But when it comes to food, you'll discover a large menu. Lunch items, uh, most popular, we do a lot of salads. We have a great salad mix that we can put our own Lucille's chicken bites on, and uh, then we grill them or fry them here, and then put that on a salad, and of course burgers. Um, we do a third pound, uh, never frozen, fresh patty. And so burgers and salads are pretty good uh, lunch items. They're the most common and popular. They have an extremely popular item you might not be expecting to find. Salmon, we have a great, awesome uh, pan seared salmon that we serve. Of course, the steakhouse is known for serving up delicious hand cut steaks. We use only upper two thirds choice. So we have our own meat cutter in house, which also happens to be one of our managers. And uh, so we pride ourselves on our beef. We, we serve the finest quality that you'll find anywhere um, in this area or even in Oklahoma City. People uh, do drive from different parts of the state to come and eat a steak here because they are hand cut and high quality. Uh, one of the comments that we pride ourselves on obviously is people love how clean it is. These folks from Little Rock, Arkansas stopped in because they did notice how clean it appeared on the outside. Then she found out. I heard this is the best place to eat. I like their salads and I also like their chicken bites and steak. The food at Lucille's is really good. I eat here almost every day. You usually have a salad, but they have excellent steaks. Uh, the variety of food is outstanding. Their menu has a dozen or so pages, lots of appetizers, desserts, that sort of thing. They're salads, very, very good salads. Uh huh. And uh, of course, they have some good steaks. Lucille's tradition continues today in Weatherford at exit 84. To finish the, the draw that Lucille had, uh, we do have a 24 hour fuel stop next door too. And so we have a lot of people that know they can get fuel here, food here, a place to stay. 
And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the new Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A huge thank you to the great folks here at the Oklahoma City Zoo for hosting us this week. You'll want to be sure to visit the zoo soon. Check out the photo arc exhibit at the Zooseum or enjoy the new Asia Sanctuary. The zoo offers year-round memberships and you can even purchase an experience with the animals. Find out all about it on their website. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, we're visiting the new hotspot in Tulsa. Go inside the gathering place. And we'll show you one of the few remaining old-fashioned soda fountains in the state next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.